In this video, I'm gonna teach you exactly how to set up Google Ads for your plumbing business in 2025 with strategies that actually work. I'm gonna show you the keywords that are working best for plumbers right now, exactly how much other plumbers are paying to appear at the top of the page, and the best, most in-depth campaign setup you'll ever see anywhere else on YouTube. So make sure you buckle up and watch the whole video so you don't miss out on anything important. But without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is head over to Google Ads and you can actually claim ad credit if you're a complete beginner and you've never ran a Google Ads campaign before. So if you can see here, if you scroll down, there's actually different sign-up offers. So if you spend $1,800 with Google Ads in the next 60 days, you can get 1,200 back in ad credit. And obviously there's these other deals here as well. Now these are absolutely unbelievable deals. I mean, you'll easily spend that amount of money in the first month of running Google Ads, but I unfortunately can't get them because I'm not a beginner, so I'm just gonna tap on Start Now. So once we've loaded into Google Ads, we wanna actually do this a little bit different than every other tutorial out there. We wanna actually go over to Tools and then go straight to Planning and then Keyword Planner, because we wanna actually find the keywords that are most searched from people who are trying to find plumbers. And we also want to know exactly how much other plumbing companies are paying to appear at the top of the page. So go over here and tap on discover new keywords. And now we're just going to type in here what somebody would typically type in to find a plumbing business near them. So let's just type in plumber near me. And we're also just going to change the location to the actual city that we live. So we get the most relevant data. So I'm just going to change this to Melbourne and tap on include and then save. Now we'll click get results. Now the first thing you wanna do is go to average monthly searches and tap on it. This just shows us the most average monthly searched keywords. So as you can see here, plumber near me is getting 9,900 monthly searches just in Melbourne. There is an unbelievable amount of work for plumbers in Melbourne. So what we do here is we wanna go through and select all these different ones that are relevant to our business. And you also wanna just make sure to remember what the top of page bid low range is and the top of page bid high range is because this is how much people are paying to appear at the top of the page. So it looks like on average, you're paying a minimum of $15 per click to as high as $53 per click to appear right here in the top four results of Google Ads. So as you can see, I typed in plumber near me and the first results that we've gotten on the page are all different ads. And you can tell their ads because it says sponsored right above each and every one of them. So let's just go through and grab all the ones that we need for our business. Now for this particular campaign, we're going to actually grab keywords that are just related to plumber near me or plumbing near me. And we're gonna build out our campaign based off that. We don't wanna add in emergency plumber near me or gas plumber near me because we'd have separate campaigns for these specific keywords just so we can be as relevant as possible to what the person is searching. So now once you've grabbed all those, you just wanna go over to copy and just paste these over in your notes because we're going to be using them later when we build out the campaign. So we just wanna head back to the campaign area. You just go over here to the left side and tap on campaigns, then overview. Now just tap on the new campaign button, tap on it again. The type of objective that we want is leads because we want people to fill out our website form or call us from the ad or our phone number on the actual website. For conversion goals, I have page views set up so it actually tracks when somebody fills out my website form and I'm also going to add in phone call leads as well. So when somebody calls my business from my actual ad. Now, if you wanna learn exactly how to set up conversion tracking for your plumbing business, there is a link in the description to another YouTube video that I have that goes through exactly how to set up conversion tracking the right way for your business. But I recommend watching that after you've finished this video because it's not an urgent thing that we need to do. So let's just get this campaign up and running and then you can go watch that video and set up the conversion tracking. So let's tap on continue and we're gonna select the campaign type and we just want that as search. Everything else here is just a waste of money. If you're a service-based business, search is the only one you actually need. Now for the way that we'd like to reach our goal, we're just gonna do website visits. Now I'm just gonna paste in a demonstration plumbing website here, just like this, and we're gonna tap on continue. Now the campaign name, we're just gonna name this what it is. So I've just named it plumber near me dash CP, which is just plumber near me campaign. So it's just explaining that this campaign is based around the keyword plumber near me. Now I'm gonna tap on continue. Now the very first mistake most plumbers make when it comes to creating a new Google Ads campaign 
is they focus on conversions when their Google Ads account has no conversion data. What you wanna do instead is actually focus on clicks and then train Google Ads on your personal conversion data. And then you can flick it over to conversions later. This is by far the best way to do this, but you need to be putting in a maximum cost per click, which if you remember from what I showed you earlier, which was the top of page bid high range and low range, I personally recommend just setting this at the highest range, which for me was around $54. Now, once you've got that set in, just tap next. We wanna remove Google search partners and Google display because they're just absolutely useless. You can't really track the data that well. And if you can't track it, you probably shouldn't spend a bunch of money on it. Now for locations, what we wanna do is tap on enter location, advanced search, and then we wanna type in the actual suburb that we service. So for this, I'm just gonna type in Chadston and then tap on include. Now, as you can see, it took me directly to Chadston on the map. What you wanna do now is tap on show all areas and just start including all the areas. Now, this is for the people that wanna be super specific when it comes to targeting and bit adjustments later on. If you don't wanna do that and you're a little bit lazy and you can't be bothered including all the areas so you can have that advantage later on, you can just tap on radius and then just drop a massive pin like this. Then tap on include. You can also increase and decrease the radius range here as well. But once you've set in your targeting, you can just tap on save. I hope you're enjoying the value that I'm giving you in this video. If you are interested in getting that advanced knowledge on Google ads and Facebook ads to be able to optimize your accounts to get unbelievably profitable results, there's a link in the description to my home service marketing course. I'll teach you everything I know. So once you put in your targeting, what you wanna do is you wanna tap on location options. And please make sure to remember this. Now you don't want this on presence or interest because this is what Google automatically has it clicked on. This means that people outside of your state, outside of your town, outside of your country can see your ads. You do not want this. You wanna put this on presence, people in or regularly in your included locations. So people who literally live in the area are the only people that will see your ad. This will save you tens of thousands of dollars. I wasted so much money when I first started Google ads for my own business because I had this on presence or interest and it took me ages to figure out. So my gift to you right now is that knowledge so you don't do the same mistakes that I did. Now we put this on no, this isn't an EU political ad. You can also put in audience segments here, but keep this on observation. Now we just tap on ones that are just related to our business because later on, once we've got sufficient data, we can actually do bid adjustments on which ones are working better and worse. So we can increase bids for the different audience segments that get us a lot of jobs and decrease bids for ones that don't convert that high. Now scroll down to next. I absolutely love AI, but right now it's just not the greatest. So I'm just gonna tap on next and I'm not gonna have the optimize on. Now right here in the keyword and asset generation, it's just grabbed all the information from the page that I put in there, which is great. So we're just gonna go down here and tap on generate, but we don't want Google to build out the full campaign. We wanna actually change this over to what's working. So just go to edit. The very first thing that we wanna change is the actual keywords. So since this is a campaign specifically for the keywords plumber near me, we only wanna put those type of keywords in here, which are the ones that we actually researched earlier because we know the exact top of page bid range high and low. So I'm just gonna put all of these in here like this and we're gonna start building our campaign based out around these keywords. Now, the very first thing that we wanna do is go to calls and add in our phone number. So we're just gonna tap on this one here and this is what happens when people who look up for plumbers near them on their actual phone, they get an option to call the business as well. And if they don't wanna call the business, they can just go here and tap on the actual headline and go to the website and fill out the form. Now for the headlines, we wanna be super keyword relevant to what they're searching in. So when it comes to Google Ads, there's about four core pillars of actually making an ad clickable to get jobs. So what they are is keyword relevance, a call to action, a discount or pricing and social proof. And you can also add in FOMO as a bonus as well. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna use a headline that is based around keyword relevance. So relevant to what they Googled. So the best way to do this is actually using this little squiggly bracket and tapping keyword insertion and putting it on title case and actually just plugging in one of the keywords that somebody usually searches to find a plumbing business near them. So one of the keywords that you copied and pasted earlier. 
Now we just tap on apply. So let's just pin this really quickly and I'll show you exactly what this looks like. And please ignore the add strength metric. As you can see, it just went from good to poor and it's because I pinned a headline. This metric is completely useless. It doesn't affect your ads at all. It just basically shows how much control you've given Google ads and how much control you're actually using. I personally pin headlines and do split tests all the time. They're the best way to go about it. So let's just break down what this keyword insertion does. It actually takes the keywords from up here. So if anyone searches one of these terms, it'll take the exact term that they searched and put it into the ad. So as you can see this one here, near me plumber, if somebody Googled that right now, they'd get an ad like this that literally has that exact search term in the first headline that they see. You can't be any more relevant than that. And now for the second headline, you can use something like a call to action, like get your free quote or something with pricing in it, like your call out fee. As you probably saw in the examples beforehand, everybody seems to lead with a call out fee. So right here you can see $0 call out fee, $0 call out fee, free quotes and $0 call out fee. Everybody seems to use it, so it must be a killer headline that seems to work the best. So my advice to you would to be using something like that, a $0 call out fee as a secondary headline. So here's the example that I'm gonna use, and I'm gonna pin this into second position. Now this is what the ad is looking like right now since that I pinned that second headline, plumber near me, free quotes and $0 call out fee. I mean, that's a super clickable ad and you're gonna be running up against all the other people that are running super similar ads. That's just how it is when it comes to headlines. There's only so many different words you can really say to really shine through the competition. The one thing that really helps the most is the descriptions because when it comes to the headlines, it's basically there just to get them to read the rest of your ad. So what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna go through and I'm gonna show you the type of descriptions that I like to put in for plumbing businesses that seem to work the best. So as you can see here, I've just created two little descriptions and I've pinned them in so you can see them. Let's have a look what the ad looks like now. I mean, you can't be any more relevant and straight up than that. Like it even pushes the fact of how easy and quick it is. Like free quotes, $0 call out fee, and at your door within 60 minutes. I mean, come on, it beats all the other ads out there. So now we need to fill out the rest of the ad though. We need to actually put in images. I personally say for images, you just use photos of you or your team in front of the camera smiling because people hire people. So you just wanna be a person. You don't wanna look like some big faceless company, have some images of you and the guys in there. It'll help you out heaps. Now for site links, I just recommend having these linked to just different parts of your website. So if you've got discounts, call to actions or anything, you put that in here, just anything that's relevant to your keyword. So obviously if this was a gas fitting campaign, you'd have site links to multiple different gas fitting things. Since this is a plumbing near me one, you just kind of have everything in here. So we don't need to really stress too much about changing any of these. In the more assets, you can add in promotions, prices or anything like that. The only thing that I really do put in is really call outs, but they're not that good. They're just little extra bits to the description. So let me just show you here. You can tap on this like this, residential and commercial, and it'll just literally pop up right at the end. Honestly, the description's already killer, so I wouldn't really worry about that too much. Now all we need to do is just tap on save and then tap on next. And then we wanna set in our daily budget. So what I recommend is to set in a daily budget of whatever you can do. But if you do wanna do this and you have a high budget where you can get multiple quotes per day, you can set in the maximum cost per click and then times it by 10. This way you get a minimum of 10 clicks per day. You'll probably get more, probably around 15, because not every click is gonna cost $54. But when it comes to plumbing websites, they usually convert around 25 to 30%. So you're looking at getting around three quotes to four quotes per day, depending on how many clicks you really get. So you'd set this up around $500. Obviously, if you're a beginner and you don't have anywhere near that amount of money, don't do that. Just put in what you can do. Oh yeah, I just want to say, don't worry about this little bidding area here where it's got the warning sign. It's only because it's not on a conversion focused bidding strategy. It's on a clicks focused bidding strategy because we have no conversion data in our account at the moment. We're going to train Google ads on it. So don't stress about this. Once you get about 30 plus conversions, you can switch it over to conversions. But this is by far the best way to set up your campaign right now without wasting a ridiculous amount of ad spend on conversions that cost way too much. So for me, I'm just going to set in the budget as $5 because obviously this is just a demonstration ad account. Now tap on next. Now the campaign is ready to publish, but we're not done just yet. We still need to change the keywords from broad match to exact match. So just tap on publish. Now what we do is we go straight to audience keywords and content and tap on keywords. Now, as you can see, all of our keywords are in here, but they all say broad match. We need to change these over to exact match. And the easiest way to do this is tapping on this button here, tapping edit, change all match types, change them all. We wanna change these to exact match. This way our ads only show up when they type in those exact words. 
So it means we don't waste any money on people looking up DIY related things, product related things, or just anything that isn't relevant to our exact keyword. This will save you tens of thousands of dollars so you can thank me later. But look, if you do wanna know how to actually optimize your Google Ads account to get better and better, more profitable results for your campaigns, there's a link right down below to my home service marketing course where I share all the secrets that I can't share for free on YouTube. And I go through everything related to Google Ads, Facebook Ads, and automating your entire business. So if you're one of those people that don't wanna mess around with trial and error, and you just wanna get results and the best results as fast as possible, Go to the link in the description and check it out.